Frank Figluzzi, we ask for you to be here with us tonight because of what I'm about to play you, some of the president's other remarks about the FBI. And I love the FBI, and the FBI loves me, 99 percent. It was the top scum, and the FBI people don't like the top scum. Frank, your reaction? Uh, it's painful to hear. I cringe when I hear it. And look, the FBI doesn't like corrupt officials. I'll just leave that there. But what we saw today was someone who's going to continue to lash out and try to harm the very institution that protects Americans from harm. And while he's doing that, the attorney general sitting in the front row today, yucking it up, he's stripping away the FBI's independence. He's wrestling away the FBI's ability to open a corruption case or any kind of campaign finance, finance case or counterintelligence case against a presidential candidate, a vice presidential candidate, a sitting president. Now it's clearly in the hands of the president's henchman, Attorney General Barr. So we're seeing the FBI bashed and we're seeing Attorney General Barr strip the FBI of independence and one of the critical institutions in our society is being damaged severely. A lot of talk about retribution, consequences for the people who uh, got the president involved in these investigations in the first place. Talk about the consequences for the FBI, senior ranks and rank and file. And as we always try to point out, the whole world is watching. We never hear Putin talk about the upper echelon of a division of government that reports to him, but the whole world can hear and see this. Yeah, so externally, our adversaries and, and our allies are looking at this and wondering whether the FBI is wounded by it, whether they need to still cooperate. People like Vladimir Putin and his intelligence service directors are looking at this, applauding that they believe that Trump has turned on his own intelligence and security agencies. But here's what we're going to see. You, you saw a hint of it today with the, with the repeated phrase from Trump, let's see what happens, right? And he said that in reference to what the AG and John Durham in Connecticut are doing in their inquiry into the origins of the Russian counterintelligence case. So this thing, let's see what happens, is going to be repeated right up until the election. We're going to have this case hanging over our heads as, in, as the American public, where we're all going to continue to doubt, boy, how bad is this going to be? Are they going to start arresting FBI executives, right? Here's what I say to that. Bring it on. If you've got charges to bring, let's get them in front of a grand jury. Let's have an American citizen grand jury decide whether a handful of FBI executives had it in for this president. If you don't have it, Shut up and move on. But instead, what we're going to see A.G. Barr do is the president's dirty work. We're going to hear this right up to the election. He'll pull it out of his pocket when he needs it. You're going to see perhaps a low-level attorney who fudged a, an email um, in, a, in a FISA on Carter Page, not connected to the special counsel inquiry. Let's get him indicted if he needs to be indicted. I'll condemn him, but let's do it and move on. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.